Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's Africa in the building. We're here together tonight and it is to God's amazing glory. 14 great years. Those 14 years are only just beginning because collectively we've only just seen the power that there is greatness in growing, uniting, and building Africa together. So each and every one of you who is a great African, give yourself a resounding round of applause this minute. Richard, so we haven't started giving out awards yet, but I understand that you've already got some props for your outfit. By who and what for? Tell me about it. Not in first, but it's allegedly from Goober itself. So all the staff have voted and they've all decided I'm the best dressed man here. Welcome to the black carpet here at the 14th Goober Awards. Join us as we grow, unite and build Africa together. We've got the VIPs coming through here on the black carpet. So I'm with the composers here on the black carpet, gents, looking absolutely dapper. Of course, you're receiving an award on us this evening, but you're also going to be entertaining the people. What can they expect from your show? Electricity. When the composer's on stage, you already know it's a vibe. So, Nana Pokes, David Melody, C Biggs, and SJ on the drums is going to be here in a moment. When we get on the stage, you already know it's showtime. The first Goober Award you ever came to was about 10 years ago. I know you guys have just celebrated your 10th anniversary together. Yeah. If you'd have gone back then and said, this is what you're going to go on to achieve, sold out shows at the Royal Albert Hall. I mean, one thing I can say about us is we've always believed in ourselves. And it's ironic that, you know, Goober has been here for that whole duration, you know what I mean? So thank you so much to Gruba for supporting us over these 10 years. Angelique Kidjo, I know a lot of people this evening are here to see you perform as part of the Gruber Awards. I imagine you get invites to so many of these though. Why did you feel that you wanted to be at this one and show your presence? It's about my continent. I walk to talk. I talk about my continent all the time. So when I have the time to be there from my continent, I am. The narrative is changing fast. It started at a slow pace, now we're speaking it up, and let's keep the momentum up, which means we have to have our home in order. We have to know what we want, where we want to go, how we get there, be prepared, be purposeful, persistent, and good at everything we do all the time. Yvonne, Yves Francois, great to have you on the black carpet. I know you guys are big wigs, Yvonne, you're on the Gooba board. You must be proud to be here and see the event finally come into life. And of course, back in London after four years. Yes, back in London, and we're so delighted to be back in London. You know, after 14 years, you know, this is where it started. Um, this is where our roots are. And I think tonight, for me, as a trustee of the Gooba Foundation, the highlight tonight would be our Rising Star Award, who's a young person from the very community that we support. You know, she has ASD, and for her to achieve what she's achieved, it's just incredible. Now, I can't wait to tell everyone about her. Ama Enchua Amponsa, Gooba Rising Star Award. I was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder at the age of three and a half. Remarkably, her passion for art emerged as early as age two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. The services that you have rendered to the Afrobeat wave and culture is undeniable. The numerous successful shows, radio shows, high profile DJing events, festivals. There is no doubt, my friend Abranti, you have left an indelible mark on the UK music industry. I am truly honored and proud to call this lovely man my friend, attaining respected levels of success in our chosen fields. And I applaud you. And what's even more exciting is that the best is still yet to come. Areej Jake, you're here to support your friend Lenny Smith this evening. Actively Black are being awarded on the stage. So I guess you've been there possibly since the beginning then. Tell us how, when you saw this brand rising, did you think Lenny would go on to achieve these kind of things? Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean... It's like kind of we all went to kind of be present, have some time to just sort of A, like... I, I'd been to the continent a few times before, but like I was our first time all together. So we did New Year on Treasure Island. We all like kind of just had a moment to reflect and um, he's just done amazing things out to the black. I've managed to catch up with our innovator of the year, Lenny Smith. My man, it's good to see you here on the black carpet. You excited about picking your award up this evening? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm incredibly honored and humbled uh, that Google would, would choose me for this award. Uh, so to be here in London tonight, man, I'm, I'm super excited. Anything and everything that involves uplifting the black community um, is, is what we give back to. Kwame Anku, 
uh, the founder of the Black Star Fund. He's actually the first investor to believe in me and believe in his vision, believe in Actively Black. Um, and that's something that's very important for us to be able to have black investors who understand the mission and the purpose and the message that we're trying to do and, and to invest that capital and the passion it. behind it as well, well, right? 100%. I have the founder of Caveman Watches with me, Anthony. It's great to be here, dude. I've seen the watches, but you've yet to hook a brother up. So what are you saying? I have your watch right here with me. Show me it. Yeah, there you go. We have a Guba branded wristwatch. It's all about who you know, you see, at these yeah, events. So we have a Guba branded watch for you. And that's the whole agenda. We're putting African-made wristwatches on anybody, everybody's hands right now. It looks great, my man. So tell me why you felt Caveman Watches had to be involved with the Guba Awards. How did that collaboration come around? Well, you know, Guba Awards still about pushing everything uh, African excellence. And that's what Caveman also does. We're pushing the excellence in Africa. So it's a great marriage. Anything Guba does, Caveman is also well in line with it. Tina Davis, one of our recipients this evening for the Goober Awards 2023. Exceptional contribution. Why did you feel you had to be? Well, first and foremost, uh, Denta is a very good friend of mine. We share birthdays, actually. Oh, so nice. we're in kin in that way. We're soul sisters. Yes, oh. absolutely, absolutely. But outside of it, I think it's a prestigious award, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And I'm honored, actually, to be here. I think it's the sky is the limit. I think it's whatever you put your mind to. I think the door is wide open, so step through it. Rodney from The Voice newspaper, you're, you're picking up uh, the Media Influence Award this evening. You must be so proud of your organisation. Well, if you tell me that's what's happening, great. I mean, I've just come out to have a really good, it's a really special night, haven't it? You can feel it already. I've been to a few of these Goober Awards. And obviously with COVID, et cetera, et cetera, we've not had the chance to get together lately. But I'm excited. It feels really, really special. Jeanette Kwachi, we've got you slowed down for the evening, but looking absolutely fine, I must say. My I think what we're seeing with the Goober Awards is legacy, right? It's an award ceremony now that holds so much credibility. Lady Denta is someone I've known since we were very, very young. So for her to, to be able to put this on for me as one of her best friends to be here tonight is to support her. But also, so like I say, to celebrate what's going to be an amazing night full of people who deserve their flowers. Let's give them their flowers whilst they're still here. So, and it's really important that what our children see and what is capable is, 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 is massive. You know, I, nights like this prove that. There are no limits and we celebrate those people that have been able to push on and do an amazing thing. Okay, so Joanna, you're showing off a little bit here on the black carpet as one of the contestants for Miss Ghana UK. Yeah, exactly. I feel like what happens most times for me personally is I miss seeing all of this. Look at how many colors, outfits, people, like influential people. Yeah. It's just nice. You connect, you share ideas, visions. I've met you, James, now. Here and I am. Amazing. So yeah, that's exactly what I want. I like to meet new people in the same vision and uh, mission. So there was me thinking I'd be the only dapper gent on the carpet. But Marcus, look at you, my man. Tell me what you're rocking. You are looking swish. This is an MG original. Uh, tell me what you're doing here at the Goober Awards. I understand that you're on the board as well. Yes, I'm on the board of Gooba and I'm on the board of an organization that I'm representing tonight called the Attorney General Alliance Africa training lawyers, prosecutors, judges, all on the issues of transnational crime. Trying to make people understand that we live in a global village, that what impacts a young girl in Nigeria can impact a young girl in New Jersey. He said I should tell all of you he's not going to end the world for another 200 years. But that I should warn 